Hot chocolate has been acquired. Okay. Um. Okay, so we need to find the dude up here. Oh no, right. We were just gonna planet hop for a bit. That's right, we were just gonna planet hop. Okay. I need some condensed carbon though. Actually, can I build a... I need oxygen and condensed carbon. Cool, I can just buy a ton of oxygen. we go. Wait. Problem. I still need carbon. I need to go, like, mine a bunch of carbon, potentially. So 31, but I need... Okay, that'll get me enough for one. And then wherever we end up, we're gonna have to massively farm a bunch of carbon. Strip mine the planet. I probably, I potentially don't need this anymore. Now that I've got the personal refiner. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna go back to Blazing Kitty 3. And then we'll hop from there. Just so that we're always going forward. Chocolate is so good. Let's do another hop, see if we can find a freighter. We're gonna have to go into a planet to mine a bunch of carbon. Do I not get a freighter until after this? Like, that seems kind of weird. Usually I've gotten it via event by now. missions and maybe we'll take a few missions down on the planet. In order to help with uh, getting a little bit of money and stuff while we're down there.
as many words as we can. Hi, Comet. Just want you to move stuff so you can sit where you like to sit. There you go. Okay, let's see if we can get some missions. Browse missions. what I want. Uh, how many of these data navigation things do I have? I have quite a few. Let's buy some of these then. Exchange maps. I'm gonna grab some of these. And we'll go to that. Yeah, we're just gonna farm a ton of carbon, I think, and oxygen if we can. Monoliths can be bad. It calls a bunch of sentinels, and I do not have a ship ready for that yet. that way. <laughs> ah. 
that did. All right. Oh, I landed way short. I mean, it'll be easy to get carbon here, that's for sure. Nice. Okay. So we got like a full stack of carbon now. And we're otherwise full. So. I'm gonna have to trash something. Or go sell stuff. I always sell stuff. Uh, oh wait, I know. Seriously? Okay, fine. I'll scrap this. Put that in there. There. There we go. Um, I want to make a condensed carbon for that. Most likely mine a ton more um
carbon before we leave. More words. running into space. Okay, that'll work. No, wait, I'm gonna need two spots. Maybe, maybe not. plans here. Okay. That's better breakfast. You make eggs or pretzels. Eggs. Nice. Okay. I need to. 
do this. do several jumps. Essentially, I just want to keep jumping until I can find, until I get my freighter. You've got a monster on your chest that keeps purring and you don't know what to do with it? <laughs> I've been there. And hey, true final boss. Here's the real question, though. Does it try to sand down your face? Because my monster does. Seems to think I'm a little rough around the edges, so he always trying to sand me down. i.e. he gives kisses. Is this my freighter? No, but if you stop petting her, she keeps rubbing uh, her face against your face. Yeah, uh, see when Pickles was little, I taught him kisses. And so now when he wants attention, he'll just come and he'll sit right on my chest and he'll just start licking my face constantly. And he'll do that for like half an- He used to do it so much as a baby that um, I actually had a scar right here for a while from him taking the skin off. It might even still be visible. I'm not sure. I haven't paid attention in a while. Legit take the first freighter that we can. Okay, so that's the first freighter we get. We might get for free. No. Okay. Why don't I get one for free? Where's my free freighter? Do you have to do something special to trigger the free freighter? Like, have I just, like, not completed a quest or something? Or do I just have shit luck? Play this far enough. Usually, I get one within my net first, like third jump or something. Third or fourth jump. also make them a mobile base so this is for my permadeath run i don't want to have a main planetary base i want to have a my base on my freighter this might be it Yep, 
Rescue the freighters. Okay, good. This is our gonna be our freighter. well, um, which can be really good sources of money and resources and stuff. Like, I, I've been using them on my main game uh, as a pretty darn good source of money. Like the freighters are actually insanely useful. You can also use them to, like, store extra ships. So you can have up to six ships, and you can access them all from your freighter. Um... Like I said, the frigate missions are all done through the freighter. Mobile base on the freighter, where you don't have to worry about energy. And it's an A class too. Nice. The only thing that would be better would be if it was like one of the, like the capital ones, and an S class. So we'll just have to wait for that. But this is not a bad one to start with. But he says, I don't worry about that though. Plus, this is um, this is a permadeath game, and I'm not doing a land base. So if I don't get a freighter, I will have no base where we can um, do all of the additional quest stuff, as well as um, Uh, various other things too, so. I'm gonna put my. main guy right here. Now, I like, I've. I don't really worry too much about. Even doing a permadeath run, I'm not gonna worry too much about. Uh, like, min maxing this, because. For me, this game's about just chilling, so.
Yes, storage room! To name my freighter Min Maximus. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, I don't really worry about... Like, I don't try to optimize in this game, really. It's... This game's for fun. So... these in here for now, because I don't need those yet. Put this in here for now. Only two. Oh no, that's the storage container. The freighter itself has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen slots with the ability to get one, two, three, four, five, six more. Through upgrades, if I do, um, like if I find um, hull expansion, whatever's. All cargo containers, all storage containers are only 20 slots, I believe. But these actually, these stock up to uh, like a thousand each, though. These stock up to a thousand, I think it's a thousand resources each. For like raw minerals. The cargoes go up to 500. Um, let's see. So that'll help for the starting. Let's see, what else can we make? I'm gonna make a arrival room right here. I mean, out of range. Can I do it this way? Sometimes it bugs out and it won't let you build it. Actually. Actually, is it because I was trying to do that? If I build the room. Ha, ah, if I build the room, it's fine. I'm going to put my portal right here. What am I missing? Metal plating and nanotubes. Seriously? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, that 20 slots though, that's worth like, I think it's like two uh, cargo slots. Time to go shoot some rounds. I might be able to buy a metal plating from a ship down here, though. If we can see one. I don't see one here, though. 
I have to go to the space station anyways so that we can hire our overseer. Even have any okay i do have a combat dude he's only c class he kind of sucks but actually he doesn't have any negative uh modifiers so that's not that bad it could be worse Okay, where do we want to put our fleet command rooms? Well, eventually, I think we want to get five. I'm out of silver now, though. It's okay. Yeah, I like how there's just like a bunch of signs there. I just didn't want to have to mess with trying to get it. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. Now that I've had hot chocolate, now I'm hot. follow. Senpu, you need some hot chocolate. It's cold. Yeah, it was freezing here like half an hour ago, and now I'm cold. Now I'm like too hot. But that's just the way my apartment works, so. It's 
stupid allergies. How are you doing, Senpu? Never just adjust right. Well, my apartment is on baseboard heating. Uh, and it legit gets like 40 degrees here in the winter. I have to keep the windows open all year round. So it's either too hot or there's like minus 20 degree drafts. It's not pleasant. Attendant Eggs. Your name is Eggs! We finally got our uh, freighter, which means we can start working on our main base. I do have another base done um, that we'll eventually do for copper mining. Some stuff in here I can sell. There I go. Good, we're back up to five million. Uh, I have to go to the other side, I think. This game looks interesting. You thought about buying it? Can never make up your mind though. Uh, it depends on what kind of games you're into. Um, so I love this game. This is probably one of my favorite games. Um, it's something that I will sometimes stop playing for a while, but then come back to. Like, and we've done this to the point where I have almost 400 hours in here now. And that is with it breaking for me for a good two years. Um... But it's more sandboxy than anything. Uh, so if you like games where there's no clearly defined goal, necessarily, or you have to make your own goals, it's an amazing game. It's like, I love the game so much, I want to tell everybody, yes, you should definitely buy it. It's an amazing game. And it is, if this kind of game is your thing. So, if it's not, like, there's a lot of people that just don't like it. Uh, like, somebody I worked with doesn't like the game because the ships are actually have, uh, like, response time to the moving. Because, you know, they've got different maneuverability and everything. And he was like, oh, the DPI sucks. I was like, no, you just have a shit ship with no maneuverability. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hire this dude. There we go. So, it, it, it depends entirely on what kind of... Uh, game you enjoy. Sounds fun like Space Animal Crossing. You think you could get into it? It's kind of like... Maybe a little bit like Animal Crossing. A little bit like Minecraft. Um...
but at the same time, not necessarily like anything else. It's like, it's one of those games, it's kind of like its own thing. Like, it's got a lot of a little bit of various different kinds of games, but not necessarily to the same complexity as any of those. But some of the stuff that it, it does some stuff that no other game is, I've never seen another game that procedurally creates animals, for example. Yeah. Which is what this does. This game does. So it's like nobody went through and created, say, the Corvax aren't necessarily a great example, but. Okay, what was one of the really, really cool things we found? Um, okay, so we called this an armored horn shark. Nobody at Hello Games went into, you know, their design office, whatever, their design program, and specifically created this fish. They made, like, this headpiece. And then probably this fin is a separate element. These horns are a separate element. This here is probably a separate element. And then I don't know if the table tail's going to be separate from the body or if the body is connected to the tail. But essentially... And then they made, like, the blank kind of pattern. And then added different color options for that pattern. And so the whole thing is procedural. So the computer says, okay, based off of the equation, we're gonna put head 642 with body 781. We're gonna add a horns number three, uh, plate 26, and uh, we're gonna add a spot onto slot X that is going to be fin 78. <laughs> and then we're gonna use pattern 3 with colors colors 5, 10, and 12. Or, you know, general idea. But... And I always find that really cool. Like this flying glovefish. This thing looks so freaking happy. You got the stories down for these fish? I mean, that's not really a story. Also, this is a flying animal, not a fish. But yeah, no, like, so everything in this is uh, procedural, which is really, really freaking cool. Oh! Um, okay, we have to get back to our base. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make a storage container down to my base as well, I think. Like this is so this is our permadeath game. I have a main game as well where we have just where we visited sixty 
four systems, I think? some silver, so we're gonna wipe out some of this ast asteroid belt. Those poor asteroids. <laughs> I need the silver. Yeah, I know. They're not gonna last long, I don't think. Where are they? Up here. Oh, there's only one. Oh, and I got my combat frigate here. Yeah, you're screwed. He didn't last very long. Hey, Ancient Steel! Oh yeah, so Senfu as an example. Okay. You see those stars there? Yeah, those are actual stars we can visit. Every single one of these stars is a place that can be visited. Every single one. And there's, from what I've recalled, though I've never gotten to the center yet, we're actually going to be aiming for that in our uh, permadeath game. Um, there's 255 galaxies. I think that's what I read somewhere. Uh, in my main game, my non-permadeath game, we are up to, so you guys probably saw I'm going with Blazing Kitty for all the stars for this run. Uh, in my main game, um, we call them Cinder Kitties. So if you ever, if you ever come across a Cinder Kitties. Yeah. They all have, yeah, it's, this game is insane. So if you ever come across a Cinder Kitty system, those are, uh, my main game. Uh, we are up to Cinder Kitty 64 so far. So. And not every planet is, like, full of life. Some of them are completely barren. But that's kind of the point. So here, Senpu, I will show you a... Let me just go to my base really quick, and then I will show you... Like, let me go to my freighter, so we can build the stuff that it wants me to. And then I will go down to a planet, and you can see how it transitions to... Um, how it transitions to planetary... Uh, I think it's... 
this? Is this purple thing doing? Never find my freighter. Uh, where's my freighter? <laughs> I got lost. Okay, well, let's show you a planet now, because that way we'll be able to see our freighter later on the. What's this planet? Ooh, a viridescent plan. These can be fun. So, as you can see, it's pretty seamless going all the way down into the planet. You get a little bit of terrain popping and stuff sometimes. As it loads in, but it's relatively seamless. need oxygen anyways so we can see if we can find any oxygen down here there's an animal and so one thing that a lot of people don't realize about this game too is um Whenever it says it's, if it says that, for example, something is three hours away. I found a perfect permadeath base planet. Oh yeah, I'm not even using up my oxygen, am I? Ah. I was gonna make my base, um, my main base on my freighter, though. What does this planet even have? What's, what resources are on this planet? It doesn't have too much in terms of, uh... Resources, though, is a problem. Well, I mean, don't say it's perfect yet. For all we know, there's going to be some angry-ass animal here that's going to try to eat me. And then that's how we'll die. If there are no storms in passive sentinels, it'd be perfect. I mean, the sentinels are attentive, but they're not angry. We also don't know yet if there's any angry, like, dinosaurs and stuff. Should we go see the what's in the water? I'm kind of tempted to make a base here because it is kind of perfect, but at the same time, like I said, I just don't know if I really want to have a main base on a planet for this game. Most of my bases are just going to be, like, most of my planetary bases are going to be, um...
for mining purposes. My main base is actually going to be mobile on my freighter, I think. It's not to say we might not have some on a planet if we find a really, really cool planet, but... Took you a couple hundred hours to find uh, a nice planet on your Permadeath playthrough. See, if this planet had anything interesting on it, I probably would build a base. But all it has is copper, paraffinium, and cobalt. And none of that is really overly interesting. I guess we could do this planet as our copper mine, but I made my copper mine planet on a, a planet with worms. Like the giant worms. Fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishies! I need to like upgrade my scanner. Looks pretty cool. Two ground animals, one flying, and two underwater. Thank goodness there's no cave animals. Do you need to farm some? Uh, oh. Fishy, fishy. I did need to find mine some ferrite. Dog, dog. Like I said, everything is procedural, so some of the animals make no sense, but that's part of the fun. Like I said, like, so, like, there's, like, different legs and body types and tails and postures and heads and attachments and eyes and mouths and and it just picks them semi-randomly And they all have like behavior and stuff. So some of them are like, so like they'll scratch and eat and hunt and they'll herd. That one was stuck. Pure ferret. I want regular ferret. Actually, Ancient Steel Dragon, you should see my uh, main base on my main game. That planet is just about perfect. It used to be absolutely perfect, and then they had like the refresh on everything. And it's still pretty, like, chill. 
but the appearance changed a ton. At first I was really upset, but then we found out it glows in the dark. And that was cool. Usually nice planets in normal mode, stuck in permadeath mode. Well, I mean, it has no weather. The sentinels are relatively passive. There's no angry creatures. Um, there's no weather. Like, the weather is a gentle breeze, I think, still. Um, the mode changes all of that, does it? I thought the universe was the same the whole, no matter what you, like, which mode you were in. Okay. We can farm a little bit of oxygen here, then that would be good. Yeah, see, this planet doesn't seem to have much on it, though. And that's kind of the, the kicker. Each mode is a different server? Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Either way, my main base is actually going to be on my freighter for this game, so... Let's see if I can go find my freighter. There it is. I'll probably go back up to my freighter. Ow. I got eaten by a plant! I'm not used to having a weapon that overheats so quick, though.
We have found some really cool animals so far, though. Oh, but yeah, Anchine Steel, you should have seen my beginning. My beginning was hell. I started on a frozen planet in a like freaking crater and there was maybe like total like three sodium plants in the crater and uh like three oxygen like there's nothing in the crater I couldn't find anything to and like there's like barely even pebbles to fix my scanner it was a terrible start <laughs> Okay. That's what we were wanting. The stuff. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go up to our freighter. Have enough silver? Probably. Okay, guys, hold tight really quick. I'm just gonna go get some more water and I'll be right back. Could be worse. Pre patch, you could spawn on an exotic planet with no resources to leave, and the only thing you could do if you spawn there was restart the playthrough. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would suck. All right, I'm gonna be right back, though, guys. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Hold tight. <laughs> 